Good morning. Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Adam Andreas Danger Thompson. This Saturday, Cornell will hold its annual Sitara Night, showcasing various forms of dance, including styles of fusion, Indian classical, Bollywood, and hip hop. The show will feature performances from Cornell Bangra, Cornell Tarana, Big Red Ross, African Dance Repertoire, and more. The, the event focuses on celebrating the artistic di diversity Cornell has to offer. Tickets are $7 if bought in advance on the website www.baileytickets.com or $10 at the door. The event will begin at 7 going into 9 in Cornell's Bailey Hall. Travel back to a time before the internet, before you were born in fact, with the IHS Choir and their latest concert experience, I Love the 80s. Back then they didn't actually have computer generated graphics. You ever see that old Avengers movie? Yeesh. This concert is going to be today. March 3rd at 7 p.m. in Culp Auditorium and has music from all of the 80s, from the 1580s to the 1980s. I was told there was going to be a couple of celebrity guest appearances, so if you want to be part of history, you sure want to be in attendance. Does Teddy count as a celebrity? That's what I'm talking about. This Sunday, the Ithaca Public Education Initiative, or IPEI, is hosting their annual Adult Spelling Bee Fundraiser in the IHS New Gym. The funds raised will be used for teacher grants. The Spelling Bee will be pitting 32 teams of superb spellers against one another. Additionally, a silent auction for donated items from local businesses will be held. Doors are opened at 1.30 p.m. with the main event starting at 2. Are you a fan of orphan boys trying to make their way in the world? I know I sure am. Come on, come on over and go see Oliver Twist at the LACS this Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. The movies released in the past year have blown us all away. And this past Sunday, the Oscars revealed the best of the best. Best actor went to Casey Affleck with his performance in Manchester by the Sea, and Emma Stone's performance in La La Land earned her Best Actress. La La Land went on to earn many other Oscars, including Best Director, Best Production, and Original Music Score, amongst many others, including Overhypeness. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them had the Harry Potter fans coming back from the grave, and also won the Oscar for Best Costume Designs. I don't think anyone could disagree with that decision. Well, someone probably could. There was a tough call between Moana and Zootopia, but ultimately, the progressive Zootopia took the Oscar for Best Animated Film. While these new Disney features were amazing and had great new takes on the classic kids movie formula, one movie brought back an old classic and vamped it up. That's right, folks. Jungle Book was awarded Best Visual Effects. Of course, the 2016 Oscars couldn't have gone smoothly. A mix-up with the envelope occurred when it came to announcing the biggest awards, Best Picture. The envelope containing the winner for Best Actress was handed to the host instead, resulting in a big misunderstanding, where La La Land was named Best Picture. The error was fixed and the host apologized, but still it must have been awful for the entire cast and crew of La La Land and that of Moonlight. It sure was hysterical. The cast had walked onto stage to accept the award and begun their acceptance speech acceptance speeches when suddenly they were brought to a grinding halt as they fixed the mistake. The hosts re revealed the real winner, Moonlight, and the Oscar was given to the hands of the rightful owner. Well thanks for tuning in IHS, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm Adam. And I'm Jeremy. I think I'm <laughs> See you next time IHS. Bye bye. I guess we're gonna have to go now. Is that going to be in the uh, concert I wonder? That's a good song, that's funny. Right here. Is it bad when I breathe out? Does that...